Welcome back to Book Break and to our next author spotlight video. I have done these videos quite a few times before now on Book Break where I take an author and go through their entire back catalogue, tell you everything that you need to know. Well today you are getting four for the price of one. I'm going to tell you about four amazing authors that you need to know about and what these authors have in common? They are all huge hits on TikTok. The first author I'm going to deep dive into is TJ Klune, who is most famous for his book The House in the Cerulean Sea. This is a fantasy story about an orphanage for magical children who've been deemed dangerous, and it's a romance between the guardian of these children, who'll do anything to protect them, and the man who is sent to investigate whether they are dangerous for the world. So it is a queer love story, it's also a found family story, and it's completely be charming. TJ Klune then followed up with another cozy whimsical fantasy, Under the Whispering Door. This one is about a man called Wallace who has just died and he's not happy about it. But Hugo, who runs a tea shop on the edge of the afterlife, promises to help him cross over. So Wallace is given a week to cross over and so he sets out to live his fullest life in seven days, which involves noticing a lot of the things that in his workaholic life on earth he never really took the time to appreciate. So those two have been absolutely massive on TikTok, but TJ Klune actually has a much bigger back catalogue than you might have realised. So he's the author of five other standalone novels, including the sci-fi romance The Bones Beneath My Skin, which is very Stranger Things-esque, and includes a child character who is not quite what she seems. Um, and also he's the author of John and Jackie, which is a love story between a married couple who are in their 80s and have known each other since they were 12. And in the book they are looking back on five key moments from their life together. So the book is really about celebrating this lifelong love between these two men. And TJ Klune has also written several series. So he's the author of the Green Creek series, starting with Wolf Song, which is coming out this September. It was previously self-published. So this series is about the violence that tears apart a wolf pack, a family of shapeshifters who can transform themselves into wolves at will. And Ox, the boy next door, who found in this wolf pack the only family he had ever known. And there's four books in that series, so lots to look forward to. TJ Klune also wrote the Extraordinaries series, which is about a fanboy with ADHD and the heroes that he loves. He wrote the Verania series, which is an epic quest fantasy about a wizard's apprentice. The Seafair series is about a teenage boy left to raise his younger brother, and then this whole wonderful cast of characters who help out. The At First Sight series is a series of love at first sight romances. There's the Immemorial Geology, which is set in a terrifying wasteland a hundred years after the end of the world. And finally, there's the How to Be series, which is about an eccentric misfit called Gus, who just wants to be left alone, until stoner hipster Casey moves to town. See, I told you, he's written a lot more books than you thought. Breaking news from Book Break, I've just had word that there is another TJ Klune novel coming, another cosy, whimsical fantasy called In the Lives of Puppets. This one is going to be a sort of Pinocchio story with robots. Is that the most exciting news you've heard this week? I bet it is. So the second author we're going to deep dive into is Olive Blake, author of, of course, The Atlas Six. The Atlas Six, you will all know, was originally a self-published TikTok sensation, now out in this gorgeous illustrated edition. This is about a group of six magicians selected to join the elusive Alexandrian society. They have to travel to the secret London headquarters and train for a year, but there are only five spaces, so one of them won't survive the year. This is dark academia, you get to learn all about the weird and wonderful magical subjects that they're studying, and it's also incredibly sexy. Reader reviews of this book have been hilarious, you guys are thirsty. I will link below to a video we've got of Olive Blake reacting to some of the funniest reviews. It's brilliant. But did you know that Olive Blake is not actually the author's real name? She's actually called Alexine Farrell Fulmouth, and under that name she has published My Mechanical Romance, an opposite attract YA love story set in an after-school robotics club. Can Bell and Teo survive nationals without breaking their robots or their hearts? 
And then coming out in December, again under the name Olivia Blake, we're getting the book Alone With You in the Ether, which is a love story between a doctoral student who is compulsive about time travel and a counterfeit artist currently undergoing court-ordered psychotherapy for bipolar. And so it's a story about falling in love while being mentally unwell and how love doesn't change those things, but it changes everything else. And then of course, just like TJ Klune, Olivier slash Alexine has a huge back catalogue that you might not have discovered yet. She has written the stories for several graphic novels, she's written three collections of fairy tale stories, an anthology of paranormal romances, and a couple of paranormal romance standalone novels. And there's more to come. We've got two books from Olivia Blake coming out next year. One for My Enemy is a Romeo and Juliet story about two rival families of witches, and Masters of Death is a comedy murder mystery sprinkled with mythology. Author number three I'm going to talk about is Emiko Jean, who is the author of the Tokyo Ever After series, which consists of Tokyo Ever After and the sequel Tokyo Dreaming. These are about a teenage girl whose world is turned upside down when she discovers that her father is the crown prince of Japan. So this is a sort of modern princess diaries series. It's also about the main character Izzy's relationship with the different parts of her identity. So at home in America she never quite felt American enough, but in Japan she doesn't quite feel Japanese enough either. So it's a lot about that, but it's also about her relationship with her hot bodyguard. Fans of that series on TikTok will be excited to discover there is more in the back catalogue. So before that series, Emiko Jean had written a psychological thriller called We'll Never Be Apart about a 17 year old girl haunted by memories of the fire that killed her boyfriend, a fire that was started by her twin sister. She's also the author of Empress of All Seasons, which is a YA fantasy steeped in Japanese mythology about a competition to find the next Empress of Hanoku. And coming out later this year, Emiko Jean is releasing an adult novel called Mika in Real Life. This is about a 35-year-old woman called Mika whose life is in a mess, and then she gets a call from Penny, the daughter she put up for adoption 16 years before. Mika and Penny start to forge this really amazing relationship, but Mika, desperate to be someone that Penny could be proud of, started things off with a little white lie to make her life sound better, which then snowballs and she ends up having to invent this totally fake life. And finally, let's talk about Casey McQuiston, author of the mega popular Red, White and Royal Blue. This book is a romance between Prince Henry, the younger brother of the heir to the throne, and the son of the US president. Initially, these two are rivals who are then forced into a fake friendship for the sake of smoothing over UK-US relations. And that then evolves into something more. And of course, TikTok went wild for this. TikTok and beyond. Casey McQuiston then followed up with their next book, One Last Stop, which is about a cynical 23-year-old girl who is not looking for love until she meets a time-travelling lesbian on the subway. Jane is displaced in time from the 1970s and has become stuck on the subway, and August is the only person who can help her. Casey then turns to YA for I Kissed Shara Wheeler, which is a really fun treasure hunt of a novel about the class valedictorian girl next door, most beautiful girl in school, who leaves a note in a pink envelope and vanishes. Before she vanishes, she kissed three people, her boyfriend, the boy next door, and Chloe, her academic rival. So all three of these people are then pulled together to solve this treasure hunt and find where has Shara Wheeler gone? It's got a lot of our favourite rom-com tropes in this book, but subverted. No one is quite who you expect, there are no stereotypes in this story, and it is very, very queer. The book is also set in a very religious small town in America, and Casey has spoken about that being very personal to them. There are, of course, a lot of challenges involved in growing up queer in a very religious community, and Casey explores that in a way that really reflects their own experience. So let me know in the comments below which author or authors you would like me to do a deep dive like this on next, and I will link here to a playlist of all of the other times I have done author spotlights like this. I will also link here to a video on books that are big on BookTok, so if you're interested in the TikTok sensations, do click through and watch that one, and I'll see you next time.